Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here, and it's time for another shave. Well, congratulations, it's Wednesday. We're officially halfway through the week. Although it's late Wednesday, so I don't know if I will have this video up until tomorrow. But uh, today we are going to be trying a new product, two new products from uh, Murphy and McNeil. And it's a soap and aftershave, and it's called uh, Marrow of Claire. And it's kind of a mermaid theme. And it's going to be released, I believe, on September 23rd. So I don't believe it's available for sale yet, but it will be coming soon. Where are we at? We're at the 22nd, or 21st, rather. Thursday will be the 22nd. Friday will be the 23rd. So this is the soap and aftershave. And it... Man, it smells like a cologne, I know, but... Can't quite, can't quite put my, my finger on it, but let's see. So uh, top notes, we have cinnamon, honey, bergamot. Middle notes, we have plum, fig, rum, labdenum. I can't even see these things. Say hey, these things, artesmia. <laughs> Bottom notes are tonka bean, vanilla, cashmere, wood, cedar, and patchouli. Those I can save, but it's a very kind of a classy, classy uh, scented aftershave. And the soap, kind of a subtle on the same note. Aftershave, very strong notes, a little more subtle. And it's a hard shave soap. Comes in a nice container. Got the Mermaid or Marrow of Claire. Yeah, Marrow of Claire on there. All right. And you can see the link to their site in the description of this video. And you can kind of see, uh, I've, I've took some of the uh, data from their website and put it in the description of the video too, if you want to read the notes and the uh, how it came about. All right, so I'll be using that today. I'm going to be using one of my favorite razors ever, and I really do like the Mercure 34G. And the reason I'm using it today is I want to use one of the Wilkinson Sword blades from Germany that I used in a previous shave. So this will be the second time I've used this particular blade. And sometimes these blades get, and this was right out the gate was a good blade, but sometimes they get better the second time around. So we'll put that in the Mercure. We're ready to rock. The first Samoga Owners Club brush I ever bought, I'll be using today with a wood handle. It's a badger. And I, I want to say I got this for like $45. Uh, some old gunner clubs, the, the, they're kind of the premium line part of their line. And uh, I've had no issues with this. And this is one of my oldest Samogs that I have. And I will be putting this into the crystal skull to do a little soaking as we're talking. All right. Let's see. Let me move a few things out of the way here. And let's get the shave started. All right. And I need a shave. You can tell. You can tell. I definitely need, need a shave. All right. It's usually a thirsty brush, so we'll see. Maybe a little more water. Ah, there you go. When you're trying something for the first time, you know, after you dial it in, you can show off and say, yeah, I know how this one lathers. I know all of this stuff, but uh, when you're doing, using a product for the first time, it might be different than the last product you used. All right. Well, it was an interesting weekend for me. If you're going, hey man, I didn't see a shave this weekend. And uh, again, condolences going out to uh, uh, the family of Queen Elizabeth II. I said Queen Elizabeth in my last video, and you knew what I was talking about. A couple other guys go, Queen Elizabeth died 150 years ago. Yeah, I know, Queen Elizabeth II. I did watch uh, some of the funeral on television, and uh, it was very moving to see so many people coming out uh, to watch the event in London. Yeah, it was very moving. So again, uh, condolences to the family and to England for losing a queen, but you have a king now. The queen is dead, God save the king. I've never been able to say that in my lifetime. Now my dad, uh, he had King George and 
believe it was King George. Ah, if it's not, I'm in big trouble, you know. What was Queen Elizabeth's father's name? Was it King George? If not, all right, I'm not living in England. I haven't been in England since I was eight. If I goofed, sorry. Okay. So, as I said, it was a, you know, eventful on Monday, and my daughter got engaged on Sunday. So there was a it's kind of a secret engagement party. She didn't know it was coming. His family was there and our family was there. And it was her birthday on Saturday and then the engagement on Sunday. And you know, it's been it's been a week. So if you go, hey man, where's your regularly scheduled videos? I'm trying to get back on track. Hey, I wasn't kidding with that second time around. Very smooth shave with a blade in this razor. Very smooth shave. And I really needed one. And I really needed the shave. I shaved off camera over the weekend uh, before I went to that party, but uh, so it's been, you know, three days at least. I think I shaved Saturday night, four days. I was reading their website and uh, something interesting. They were saying if you're ordering from overseas, the UK or somewhere, that uh, Murphy and McNeil, that uh, there's some rule about alcohol in the aftershave splash being shipped to Europe now. I, I... So uh, they were suggesting if you were to order some of this, get the alcohol free so that way they could ship to Europe. And that's all on their website. Very, very slick, very, very slick soap. And I do like the packaging. Okay, pass two. Hear the feedback? And I'm assuming those blades are made in Germany because in my last video or the video that I used them in, a lot of the comments I was reading, they're saying, yeah, they're Paul H's favorite and they're from Germany. And I can see why. Very nice blades. And it didn't even cut me. You get a smooth shave, right, with no cuts? Do you consider that a win? I consider that a win. All right. Got my shave towel back. I'm happy with that one. Murphy and McNeil, very good. All right. Aftershave. Kind of like the lid, too. You know, it does kind of look like one of the old classic, you know, let me see if I can find one, isn't it? I mean, uh, look at, see? It's got a cool, a cool lid on there. And I don't know if I got the alcohol version or the non-alcohol version, but we're about to find out, right? Got the alcohol version. Nice burn though, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Very pleasant scent. And no cuts. Well, I'm ready for Thursday now, guys. 
All right. Well, again, thank you very much for tuning in. I wouldn't be here without you viewers and you subscribers. I want to thank you very, very much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you in another shave video very soon. So from uh, Surf City, California, have a great night.